Hello there. I'd like to talk to you guys about these little lens condom lens covers, stretchy lens caps. We're gonna find out if they're worth it or not for you or for me. Yeah, let's do it. So there's a couple pros and a couple cons about these covers and one, <laughs> see, once in a while they'll just jump on your coffee cup and just kind of ruin your day. For real though, they are totally weather sealed, which is nice and I'll show you. Let's grab the cup. Fill her up. See, we got some sweet tea in there. See, it's uh, it's weather sealed. Pretty good. Those roller boys were super nice. And that guy said he's been doing that since he was eight years old. It's like 15 years, I think. That's a lot of rollerblading. He was really good though. Come here if you want really good food in Nashville. The idea for these lens caps is honestly really, really cool. I travel quite a bit playing music with my band and I'm always throwing my lenses into my backpack and they're shaking around and bouncing in the van. Even in your Pelican case, sometimes there's a lot of movement, especially when you're flying. So I got these to make sure they would stick on my lenses because we invest thousands of dollars in these tubes of glass and we have to keep them safe somehow. So I thought this is the best way to do it. So I bought these and put them on my Sigma lenses. These are the version one covered caps, I think. And within two weeks, my Sigma 50 to 100, I guess was too big and broke this thing. It's just dumb because on covered side, it says it fits 99% of lenses, so I guess my lens was the 1% that didn't work. So I will not be buying any more of these from Covered. There are a lot of other options, and I think this is still a really good idea. I don't recommend the Covered ones. It's just It broke within like two weeks, which is stupid, and they're expensive. And says they're supposed to last. That's a very good way to get a visually transmitted disease on your lens, so I highly recommend some sort of other latex cover for your lenses. I know that Polar Pro does make some kind of stretchy lens covers, but they have kind of a solid front element protector. Those look really nice, and I've seen quite a few reviews on those, haven't seen any issues, and they have more specific thread sizes. So maybe look into the Polar Pro ones. I can't recommend them because I've never tried them, but I think I will try them and then let you know if they're any good. Timing. Are you filming currently? I am now. Oh, nice. Covered, if you watch this, I like your idea for this beautiful little lens condom. It's smart. I need you to send me some new ones or some better ones. I don't know if your new ones are better. It's a really good idea. It just kind of failed me. If you guys like my content, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you really like my stuff, maybe consider becoming a patron. I'm trying to make this my full-time gig, and the main way that I'm going to be able to do that is through my Patreon supporters. So I'm going to shout out my patrons now. Michael Weeble, Brandon Steger, Thought Ray, Elisha Ruman, Noah Watson, Christian Reddell, Brandon Anderson, Devin Nicole, Kevin Johnson, Michael Mayfield, Andrew, Jason Hackworth, Hannah Markley, Kyle Schaefer, Tony Stanton, Jonathan Lane, Banks, Nash, Josh Carlin, Perry Mulder, Tyler Beakley, Reagan Carrier, Jared McCaskey, Jennifer Mayfield, Chris House, Josh Roth, Dylan Cabral, Josh Huey, Matt Leal, Daniel Peacock, Seth King, Nate Christian, Zachary Thayer, John Fleischman, Cash Carter, Caleb Ginger, Norman Hex, and Jesse Friday. Thank you guys so much for becoming patrons. I love you. You're making my dreams come true, seriously. I, it really means a lot. Share my stuff with somebody today and um, tell them they'll probably hate it and see if they'll subscribe. It'll be a hilarious prank. See ya.